Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, we are now going to be doing the live teach. Uh, for those that you guys, uh, of the, for those of you that were watching or are watching us live, we're breaking this up um, the the episodes now so that um, the live version you guys can stick around and watch the rule teach. But now we can split them up in YouTube videos so that it's easier for people to watch. So sorry about the weird transitions when I say goodbye and thank you to Nick. But we're here now, so whew, center ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here for the rule teach of Animal Kingdoms, uh, a game published by Galactic Raptor Games, um, currently on Kickstarter. Uh, we're joined with Nick Kopp. Welcome, Nick. Hey. Uh, yeah, hey. I'm super stoked to play some uh, Animal Kingdoms with you. I am stoked because I have been scrounging through the rules, and I get a gist of it, but I'm, I'm happy that I have somebody here to teach me, and we have our viewers to see, to see how the game is played. Um, so... Uh, I guess without further ado, we we have the table up here. Uh, do you want to walk us through the gist of the game? Uh, and then we can go into the mechanics of it and all that fun. Stuff. Yes. Uh, so welcome to the Animal Kingdoms. <laughs> yeah, I have to say it in the weird voice. Uh, so <laughs> Animal Kingdoms is a, it's a well, um, one to five player area control, light kind of area control game. It is, it's super chill. I, I really like playing it because you're, you're kind of just playing cards, and you can talk with your friends while you play. Um, but you are um, vying for control of these five uh, animal kingdoms here. You got it. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's, you know, let's just jump into kind of the setup here as okay. I explain the game. Sounds good. Um, so the first thing that we do is put out some of these dec decree cards. Okay, and they um, go over these little spots here. So these little spots on the board signify decree cards. Yes, exactly. So we'll put those out. And these are the decrees for um, what will please the king of each of these kingdoms. So okay. um, if we start over on that one, um, sure. equal or higher than uh, the higher of the neighbors. So basically, these determine the cards that you can play um, on the kingdoms to gain influence over right. the. So, uh, so let's say, game. so let's say, like a number one was over here, uh, and a number two was over here. We would only be able to play two or higher on this area. Yes, you got it. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then all different ranks and beasts. So what you'll see is we've got these cards here that signify some animals that are helping us win the influence over the animal kingdoms. Um, okay. So you've got numbers one through eight, and you've got eight different suits of uh, animals, like the okay. uh, wolf here and the Excellent. owl. So what we'll do is we'll hand out, um, everybody take four cards. That will be your starting hand. So I'll throw four in my hand there. Okay, and I'll, I can grab them if you want. Yeah, go ahead and grab your... I'm going to throw these back in there. Yep. The the art really does pop. Um, the funny thing is the pictures in the campaign, having it in tabletop sim actually adds that extra dynamic to it. And being able to see like a full image of it on my screen now, the art does really pop on these cards. Uh, it's amazing. I can't believe Katie's done some amazing work. Um, and I just couldn't believe this when when I saw it. Uh, so each of the kingdoms is worth a certain number of points. And what we do is we actually... Um, oh, so we so you pull them, them out. So basically, in the regular game, you're going to pull them either out of your hand or from a bag, and then you put them in sequential order from that random pull. Yes, right yep, exactly. Like you, so like you, you read the Yep, so starting uh, lowest value uh, first. So essentially... Um, and we'll throw that one over there. Yep, I got it. Uh, so as you go in the different rounds, the uh, first round is the lowest value. The uh, next round is higher than that. And then uh -huh. the last round would be the, the highest value. So there so are you, different VP bags to pull from, or is it's it's one? Oh, are you talking about the lowest, then medium, then then okay. Got it. Yes. So uh, there is another uh, set. So these are the red um, for the different rounds. Um, okay. At some point, there are some green VP tokens that will come out, and we'll I'll explain those later. Okay. Um, 
So you've got four cards. I've got four yeah. cards. Um, yeah. So what we could do is is go ahead and start playing the game. So let's just take a look. So you've got cards. I've got cards. They're yes. uh, animals between with values or ranks uh, of uh, one to eight. And so taking a look at the different um, rules, let's uh -huh. see. This is one to eight, no skipping. So you've got to play a one if you want to influence you want to over that. that. Or, or tech, Oh, so you have to start with one. In this one, you absolutely have to start with one. You cannot start with you like a two. Got it. Okay. Yep. Let's see. This one is equal or lower than the lowest neighbor. So, yep, you can't. So we really can't start there until because we've got kinda, somebody. Yeah. On, yeah. Got it. Uh, all different beasts. So it doesn't really matter what you play there as long as it's a different animal than what's been played before. Mm hmm. Let's see, and then all different ranks and beasts. So you can't play the same number or the same animal there. So that's a little bit more. Um, so these are all, um, there's I think 30 or so different uh, rules or okay. decrees that go out. And, and it's it's random. There's no tiers or anything. That's it's just whatever comes out. So that's right. what we and get to I play will, with. One observation I'll make real quick. I really do like... Um, that this is something that's going to be different every time we play. So that's four variables in each of the kingdoms that are completely different. Anytime yes, and goes. if you'll notice, like this kingdom only has one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Uh -huh. This one has four. And so oh, okay. it just so happens that maybe you want to play here because this one's going to be worth 10 points at the on the third round. Right. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and uh, uh, let's see what do we got here. So, so basically now on a turn, um, what are my options on my turn? I can place how many cards? How does this work? Uh-huh. Uh, so the options are you can play one card. I'll go ahead and do that. On okay. this and there. I can learn how to where, rotate. Where, where are you putting him right here? Uh, just like under the decree here. Under the um, decree. So, and we can, we can put him right there. So that's a one. Yep. And so it's one to eight, no skipping. So that allows me here, I'll be purple, to play one influence on this kingdom. It doesn't matter where I go. If I go to any one of these spots, I just can't mm -hmm. take the king spot quite yet. Okay. That can only be taken if all of the other spots are filled in. All of them, not majority, yes. all of them. Okay. All of them. Um, yeah. What's interesting is that once you take a king spot, you you are out for the rest of the round. So, so the so, moment you take the king spot, you cannot take any more turns. That's that right. So you'll get one <laughs> king spot if you're lucky at the end of the that's round. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so that's one action you can do. If you don't like your cards, you right. can choose to... Oh, I can't remember what the thematic <laughs> name of the, the... name for it. Um, you don't don't worry about thematic because honestly we're we're ruled. More theme theme heavy you go yeah. with teach, the more confused people get. So so another option you have, you can either place a card or you can place a card, or you can discard as many cards as you'd like to yeah. redraw as many cards as you like, and you get a point. So Ooh, you don't okay. get an influence, but you do get an immediate one point. Oh, um, so you get so so for discarding and drawing, you immediately get one victory. Yes. Yep. And it allows you to kind of shuffle. And then as soon as I'm done, I take another card into my okay. hand. There okay. we go. Right. So it is your turn to either play yeah. a card or discard all your cards. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go. I'm going to I'm going to drop uh, this this T gray over here. Ooh, what a great looking tiger. It is, it is a nice little tiger, isn't it? And then I'll go ahead and uh, drop my. I think this is my color here. Right. Yeah. Uh, yep. I drop that right there. All right. So at the end of the round, whoever has influence in a kingdom uh, yep. will win the victory points down here. What's neat is second place, no matter which kingdom, second place gets three points. So okay. second place does get some points. Okay. And ties are not friendly, but we'll go over that if and when we tie. So uh, what we just did here was was that that wasn't a full round, right? Uh, no. So okay. what we, we keep doing is we keep playing cards until um, both of us either pass. So the third option you can do is pass. If you pass, mm -hmm. you are out for the rest of the round. 
Okay. Um, or if you play in one of those king spots on any. Um, All right, and I do get to I do get there. to refresh if I place the card. Yes. I get to refresh. Okay. Draw back up to. Got it. Um, okay, so you can go ahead. I think I have the gist of it. We'll sort of I'll, we'll talk through our actions and see how the, where this leads us. Let's see. Yeah. So uh, this one is not super constraint E. So I'll play this B here it's all okay. different ranks in beasts so i played a b that's a three b so so i would i would not be able to place a, a three or a b in this location nor would you that's now right. you place that okay you got it and then i'll take a card very interesting well i mean i see i see what you're doing over here and mm. i want to be a part of this action over here oh you got a two yeah I wanna, yeah i want to be a part of that pa- that action over here uh, let me just move that and sort of okay. line, line it over there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and drop my fear, my little cube of influence over here. All right. So I think my wolf needs to go there. So I've got oh. a three wolf. So if we're going one to eight, one, two, three. Um, <laughs> there we go. All right. So so this is, this is yeah, I could see this. Is, this we got things going on here. Um, I had to refresh as well. Um, you know, my wolf is really drawn to your wolf, so they're going to come hang out as well. Okay. And my frog wants to get part of that action. I've got a five <laughs> here. So what you can see, the two-player game is interesting. It gets kind of tactical. Yeah, it does. Where, it does. Uh, so uh, because... at this point, <laughs> um, what's interesting about this king spot is it mm-hmm. counts towards the influence in the territory but playing there ends your turn. So really, right. if you play here, yeah, I really can't answer you unless Correct. I want to end my um, end my turn for the round. <laughs> which, which then, as in a two-player game, allows me to just ramp up the, the territories. Yep, and then strategically place. Yeah, it gets um, kind of weird. Where like, if the odd number of the odd spaced. Um, territories maybe you don't want to start in yeah uh, because you can't finish started okay cat (laughs) oh sure i um i so basically um sorry guys i'm I'm going to cover the the restraints of the different locations so the one we're we're sort of vying for right now it has to be one through eight in order um so basically what's been happening is nick and i have been trading off he placed a one i placed a two he put a three i put a four blah, blah, blah. uh the one next to that one the orange territory we're not really paying attention to right now um is equal or higher than the highest neighbor so one of the issues you sort of run into right now is this one if we don't start placing cards here in this territory then it's going to be impossible for us to even place anything because it has to be equal to or higher than the highest neighbor. So right now we're already up to five. That means we can only put a five down here at the, at the lowest. So if we don't start placing here, we're just going to completely ignore this kingdom by the end of this, this round um, over here, they have to be all different ranks and beasts. This one's far more opened up in a way at this point. So, um, competitively for a two player game this one has a lot more freedom where this one is now like a, a point where do we want to start putting cards in there but all different ranks and beasts mean uh obviously rank is the number and then beast is the symbol on the card so because nick placed this here um i and nick now for the remainder of this round cannot place a number three here or a b type or insect type uh card here um, and then we move over to this little uh, tundra area here. Um, this one, the requirement is that they're all different beasts. This one is probably the most open of all of the other areas on the table. Uh, because this one, I mean, all different beasts gives us a restriction. How many? There's eight. So that basically yep. is is eight, eight cards um, could go in here. But then if we end up with a, a creature rich hand, it, we could end up in a turn where we get screwed because uh we we can't put down anything in this area because we don't have different beasts in our hands um so the restrictions are there and then finally this one over here is lower than the lowest neighbor uh and again this one the restrictions are starting to uh this one isn't actually as restrictive as this guy the highest neighbor because Mm -hmm. even if we have eight over here we can always do lower than eight um and so this one we could fill in competitively together following this but this one we really have to think about if we want to try to put some influence in there now 
because eventually we won't be able to afford to put any influence in there. Um, so with that in mind, um, I'm going to go ahead and place my t my tiger here for an influence point Ooh. in that region. Yeah, I hope, that, I hope that clears it up for everybody who's watching. Um, if you guys need any clarifications, just let Matt will ping me in my ear and I will do anything I can do to help teach this for you guys. See, my owl is also equal to or <laughs> higher than the highest neighbor. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so what's really neat about this game is that um, w it's a very much a gateway game with, with some strategy because if you want to play with your mom, you just say, hey, you've got cards in your hand. Just make them meet these constraints and you can play them there. Yeah. But if you want to play with a strategic person, uh, sorry, they kind of get some, they're tiny. <laughs> yeah, because when they fall on top of that guy, they 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 match the size of them. Uh, the way to fix it that's is cool over here. Oh, that's if I okay. On this car, it'll it a lot of gives us better. Uh, uh, okay, so this better six, visibility, and we have a another six, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Um. Yeah, so you've got to start to think about, do I play cards now or do I hold them? Because the constraints are going to get even more constraintier as we play cards. <laughs> That's a great word. Uh, like you said, <laughs> uh, if I play a six here, that that makes this, you have to play a, a, a six over there. Um, right. The other aspect of this is... Um, so you place, I'm sorry, you place the owl, so it's my, it's my go. Right? Yep, your turn. Yep. Uh... I am going to go with um, I'm going to go with the seven. Yep, good idea. Um, this one over here. Let's see, I want this space, but I have <laughs> to play a six, and I do not have a six. So right. just saying, I'm going to go play somewhere else, equal to or lower than the lowest neighbor, which is five yeah. right now, so I can play my four, my T gray, here oh, to oh, answer okay. that influence. Interesting, interesting. So uh, what I'm intrigued about is next round, this is going to be worth nine points, yeah. and then the final round, it's going to be worth ten. Ten. So... And is that is that based on what we're doing in this round? Like the, my influence doesn't move from at the end of the round; it stays within that that area. So the only influence, actually, the influence will clear. The only influence yeah. that will stay is the one in the king spot. It actually, oh, oh they so oh. the next age, it's now part of the council because oh, they're um, got it. They're they're the, the, yeah, <laughs> they're the elders, so they're in the council, so they have control okay. over that spot. So. So the game flow to really simplify it here is, um, you know, you play cards in whatever order is dictated by the 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 king. The the uh, what's the term you used? Um, the decree. decree. So whatever decree is in the kingdom, you follow that decree and you place cards. And then every time you place a card, you place influence. The last person to gain kingdom influence at the end of a round uh, finishes their round at that point in time, allowing other players to keep playing if they could. Um, and, but mm -hmm. this influence then elevates into the council for the, for the following turn. So yes, you don't want to play this too early, but if you don't play it, then you're, you're, you're losing out on, on a influence bonus for the following rounds. And so let me give you an even more incentive to play there. Okay. First person to take a King spot in any of the five kingdoms wins mm -hmm. this bonus mystery victory points that. What? For each round, one person will win this bonus victory points that is hidden and not shown to me. Okay. Um, so it's a further incentive to take that king spot first. Just, just so, just so, and that's every and at every age in every age that happens. Yes, in every age, the first just person one to person. take the first mm -hmm. person to take the king spot gets that that tile. You got it. Yep. Okay. So I can see where some of the randomness is sort of entering here some of that because because now i can race for that but I, I could be racing for something that's that's a pittance compared to what i could be getting for staying it out as long as possible in the round however yeah. if somebody else grabs that first and ends up lucky they might they might trump me on that okay and you, this is and this is part of the core mechanics there's always something in the middle every age and the first person to place 
their token in any of the king spots receives that token as well as in the following round that influence is elevated into the council um, which is basically a buff into the following ages of one influence you will have there okay. exactly you've got it the other oh. the last really the last key aspect of this game is right now or if you play on this kingdom yeah and nobody plays into the king spot mm -hmm. you would have a tie We'd have to battle uh, for it. the influence and ties being friendly is not fun. Right. <laughs> so we would, that that's when we would all out battle would, would break loose because there's a tie. Um, right. So, and it, you might want to think about, we, we would play um, a card to resolve yep. the battle and high yep. card wins besides four. Um, the eight is always eaten by one. So it's kind eight, of like that spy mechanic of uh, from the eight Stratego. Is always what beaten by one? Uh, beaten by the one. Yes. Okay. So if but but a one is beaten by any other card. So. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. So you may want to hold on to your high cards in case we get into a, a battle the, over there. But the eight is that again. There's that 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 um, sweating mechanic. The the tension because. You could put an eight thinking that you're guaranteed to win, but if the other player risks it and puts that one down, uh, I like it. I, yep. I, I do like that tension build. Okay. So um, what I'm, it's my turn. Uh, yep. It has to be equal or lower than lowest neighbor. Now, here's an interesting question about this decree. If a one and a four are here, I could go back to a one again, right? Or a three or a two. These decrees, it's always the card that's on the top. Uh, oh, is the to, one I that counts to, towards that. So I have to be higher than the four at this point. Yeah. So equal to, equal or lower than the lowest neighbor. So right now this would um, this the constraint is this five oh, uh, okay. the frog or nothing. So it has to be equal to or lower than five. Um, well, it says the lowest neighbor. So lowest neighbor yeah. is nothing. Um, but if I put that's true one. If I put a one here, then that means I I still can't place a one here. I still have to follow in order of this i still have to be on top of that card is that correct uh so if so let's go ahead i'm going to do that i'll I'll just take my turn and play a one okay. here yeah. um so right now the neighbors for this card are the one that the of five. owls and the yep. five of frogs so yep. equal to or lower than the lowest neighbor so the lowest neighbor would be one yep. so the only cards that you can now play in this kingdom are ones Right, just but, because of this card, until somebody plays okay. something here, and it, and so want, it really doesn't I, matter what was already played there for this. Okay. To okay, yeah, but I was saying if you didn't put anything there, right? If you didn't put anything there, then I could have just been slamming any card that was lower than five into this. Yes, yep, you got it. Okay, you got okay. it. All right, so uh, so you placed that one there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Cheating. now. Yeah, in, indeed. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> so you're forcing my hand, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and place a seven of owls over here. Okay. All right. So yeah, let's yeah. see. That was uh, equal or higher than the highest name, which now is still the five. So I can yep. play my five there to get the last uh, free influence spot, though you're still winning. But watch so out. If I take that kingdom... Then the highest neighbor. Okay, so yeah, you could put a five there. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, see, I was also thinking in order here, but okay. Yeah, so um, the order is just this specific decree. Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, time to think. Time to think. I think I might equal to or higher. Yeah. So remember, if you go there, yeah. Then if I go there, it's going to trigger. I can't. I have to. I have to stop. Right. Yeah. Uh, and that is all different range beasts. Uh, what I will do is I will dump. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Put my eight over here. Okay. 
So now for this kingdom, this automatically changes to now I can play anything lower than a five. That's, this is now the lowest that's one. Correct. That is correct. Um, which I do not have. I have a bunch of fours. So I can play my four over here. So, oh, I have to drop one more. And I have to place my influence over there. There we go. And then the eight is there. Okay. I'm going oh, to place, no. I'm going to place a uh three over here. Three of tiger. Place my influence there. Ah, uh, so you've kind of jammed up that territory there. That I can't go there unless I wanted to end my <laughs> turn. I see what you did there. Also different. Yeah. I'm going to keep going here so I can play a six of lizards. Six of lizards. So you're putting here. all different beasts and ranks over there. Yeah, so there's a four of okapis. Yep. Uh, a three of bees and a six of lizards. Now. Okay. Uh, so it's getting uh, really constrained. It is. Um, you got a lot of influence over there. Uh, I am going to dump in an okapi over here. Okay. And go ahead. Equal to or lower than, so I can play my four of red pandas on top of your okapi. Uh, you can't now remember this is lowest neighbor. So you could you could that's five is the lowest neighbor. Oh, three is now the lowest yeah. neighbor. Yeah, oh, sorry, right. three is three is so that my copy. So that, I can't play no, no, no. That. Wait, is that true? So here's okay. This is another question here. The eight's here. Is it whatever is on top of the the thing? That yeah, so it, it's whatever was played last. These okay. uh, comparison decrees. Okay. So, Got it. Okay. Yeah. So three is that. So my five has to come back. That. Could not have been played there. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That was an Good error. Point. We're, we're all cheating now. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was an error. And then I'll put this back in the deck, and we'll do a little shuffle shuffle. Um, if So so the number is now three because that went on top. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to have to go uh, three here. Okay. I have a three options are getting very limited and then i'll keep my cube that i put in there so okay i'm gonna play my one of frogs over here okay uh got that kingdom on lockdown play my two o copy over here a five Let's see here. Looks like oh yeah, there's one over here, so I can play a six. So one to eight. So this one doesn't matter which um uh, dude, so one, I can play my well, six there. Well yeah, the six as long as it no, well actually that's the question I have. Oh, okay, because was a six there already? Let's see. There's yeah, there's already a six there, I believe. Okay. Uh no, I, um, I just I played the six there. I, I okay. threw it over here. Got it. So then the five yeah. goes there, and then the six. Got it. So, uh, all right. So seven is the seven is the number on that one now. Yep. Uh, to move forward on that, and you placed. So you have four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I was kind of digging for the six, but I wasn't doing it too aggressively. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Two of Owl here. Okay. Let's see, that it needs to be low. Um, so what I can do, I don't have any cards that I can play in that kingdom, but I want yep. to. Uh, so I remembered what the term is, is I can rally. So okay. what I can do is discard um, these cards. And you are what color? Purple? Purple. 
So that puts so you I will get one point. yeah one point, and so I can pick up any number of, or I can discard and pick up uh, any, any number of cards. So uh, up to four, right? Which I'll do the four. That's my turn. So it does yeah. kind of suck because it takes my turn, and I don't place influence. Right. This is the one on top. The two here. Yeah. So I don't know if that. I don't think that really influences in any way. Um, I am going to go. Uh, with my one a copy. So that is now the number there. Okay. So um, I didn't get any. Th- oh, I did. I got a two. So I can play a two at Kingdom. And at this point, then I think that means there are no other open spaces. So if you want to keep playing into one of the kingdoms, you will take the king spot for that kingdom. Correct. Correct. And that and will end your round, and you'll get that mystery victory points. Right. Ah. Uh, and looking at my situation, uh, it just has to be a different beast here. Um, I mean, so I would have this territory, this territory, that one. You would have, you would get those two. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, but you have extra turns, so that could change. And remember, this one will stick around for the rest of the game. So if you got to start considering, hey, okay, it's in the next round. These things are going to be worth like six and correct. ten points. Correct, mm-hmm. correct. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually end up going with... Uh, has to be all different beasts. So I'm just going to use a little red, whatever that is, fox guy. Okay. Oh, and red panda. They're super red cute. Red panda. And then drop, and drop that, uh, that in there. Claim this token. Yep. That's yours. All right, and all right. That's a that's a nice little boost. Do I do I do that now, or is it hidden? In- uh so that that victory points is hidden until the end of the game. Beautiful. So it kind of gives it. some tension to the game there. Love it. Um, all right, so you got the king spot, and you're done. And uh, just one important rules clarification. Um, yeah. So thematically, you've appeased the king. Yes. It's signaled that we're close to the end of the round. Yep. Um, so therefore, nobody is allowed to rally anymore. So once somebody's okay. taken that um, mystery victory point token, the rally option is no longer available. Okay. So um, I do have to either play or pass, and I will play this... Um, oop, I just put that in a bag. There you <laughs> go. Uh, this uh, red panda on this kingdom, which would trigger some fun, interesting things because we are now tied for influence in that kingdom. <laughs> Ooh, and I'll draw up to four, which yeah. is important because we're going to battle. Yep. All right, so that's the end of the round. Yeah. So what we'll do now is first... Uh, We'll start um, assigning victory points. We'll start with the ones that are pretty obvious. So this of one, course. four purple, no white. So I get the six victory points. Yep. Um, and I can put, so I go up to seven. Yep. Um, let's see here. Uh, we are, so wins with four and two. So I get um, this. And this is an interesting just tiebreaker. So, but we have this scoreboard. So we I go up to, let's see, 13. Yep. 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, if I can count. I just told you I was an engineer. I, can... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, an engineer. I swear. Uh, and since you did play in this kingdom, you do get um, three points for being second place. So oh, not okay. too bad. Thanks. There Thanks, you buddy. go. Yeah, so you won this kingdom. So you get six points there. Let's see, nine. Um, you win this kingdom. So that's another six points to go up to 15. Yeah. Uh, you're shellacking me. <laughs> and then uh, we're back to this one. So, All right. um, so ties are not friendly. They are not. Ties are, in fact, opposite of friendly. The animals are equal in numbers, so they obviously, what happens when everybody's equal, you have to w- see who's the alpha, and uh-huh. you have to battle. <laughs> yep. yep. All right, so what we do is take one card, and, and we play it. Side. Yeah, let's move it. And in fact, those can go into the discard now. Those are not needed the anymore. The discard is right over there. Yeah, right here. Um, and then I'll take these over. I don't know how to take a stack. Yeah, I got it. It's got to okay. hold. 
hold the mousey button. All right. Oh, yeah. So for the battle, what we do is we take one card face down and play it down. This is my card. Um, in this battle, then we when we flip them up, high card yeah. wins the battle, okay. but a one beats an eight, but everything right. else beats a one. Right. Are you ready? I am. One, two, three, flip. Ah! Seven. <laughs> We're tied. All right. So this is this is a great. So we tie, which means yeah. the battle continues. Uh, okay. No drawing cards. It keeps going with the cards All you've right. got in your hand. All so right. I'm going to play this card. And then one, two, three, flip. Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> like six or <a> nine. <laughs> All right. So what's interesting is in if if we had more players and yeah. three players were tied, we would have a three-way battle. The same. Oh, that's re that's really cool. Way. Uh, and then if, if two players were tied, they would stay in, and the other player would uh, would would go back. So okay. since I lost the battle, I do get to draw back up to four cards. Mm -hmm. Since you won the battle, you don't get to draw up to four cards. If you had another battle, you would have to just use the two cards that you have. Okay. So say Got another it. territory was tied. Um, yeah. Right. But following all this, all the resolution, at the beginning of the next uh, age, I am going to have four cards to start with. Yes. And so okay. these get discarded. And then um, and we collect our influence. Um, the only so influence that, that stays. For, so what did that do for points then? So I won Ooh. that. So you won the five points. Yep. Let's see, you go up to twenty, and then I get second place and to win the three points. So I'm at fifteen. Okay. There. So um, we collect. We collect back our cubes. Yep. Which, Every cube uh, except for the king. So whoever appeased the kings, um, <laughs> they stick around for the next age. They're the noble people, the elders. Nice. They go into our their council. And count as one influence in that kingdom for the next age. Very nice. Yeah, um, I, I definitely will, will say that, you know, I only skimmed through the rules before this, and uh, I was a little confused after reading the rules. Um, sitting down and playing with you and sort of going through uh, the game itself, uh, it makes a lot more sense. Um, the, the one thing that, that, um, I wanted to ask you, you know, what what really influenced the, your your design of the the cards themselves? Um, like, because it's like a bit like a poker card. So, yeah. what really influenced that for you? Um, so that's so that that's what Stephen envisioned um, okay. when when he it came up with this game. Um, is is just to be simplistic and elegant and use like you said they're kind of like poker cards with suits mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, color or ranks is right. essentially what it is. Um, what we said was we want to make them look really good. Yeah, and, and so we went out and it, it actually took us um, I think it was maybe two months or so looking at just different artists trying to find somebody to do a style um and and we kind of so what happened was is we approached katie's art if you look at her portfolio it's very much like this art okay um i don't think she, she's done a little bit of animals before and we said hey this is amazing we want you to do animals and so katie actually as the artist made the decision to make them look like this and look like poker cards like you said they right. they look like cards but animals <laughs> or like yeah, uh, yeah. playing cards um like with the different ways that they look um and i think what katie did there was amazing i think that's a cool they, they really did the, the art really pops I, I think one of the things that that also to, and this is just thrown out there one of the things that kind of confused me when i first saw the components um, whenever I see poker cards at this point where the industry is, I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm triggered like trick taking game, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's hard. It's hard. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that, if, have you seen some of the feedback like that from, from comments or anything like that, or, or is that, has it been sort of, no I haven't heard that, but if you know, Carla, she hates trick taking games. <laughs> 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 she has a lot of huge fan of them, so. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I grew up some of the first games. So I, I, I've been playing games my entire life. And, um, yeah. some of the, the first game that I played was 
my grandma uh, teaching me bridge. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm actually very, I actually like trick taking games. Uh, but, <laughs> and I like the bigger, more complicated ones. Uh, That's great. But uh, so, yeah, I, I haven't heard that before, actually. I didn't even think about that. I should have thought about that. Uh, this belongs up here, right? Uh, yes, you're right. Yeah, okay. So you got the king spot yep. in that. Uh, and you have right, so over here. Mm. Yep. Mm. Uh, all right, so we'll go. I'll, I'll run around the table real quick. Uh, so looking at the different zones, these obviously any card player has to match that suit. That's the only rule for that. Uh, the rule for this one: only even ranks can be placed. Um, but again, don't have to be in order. But whatever ends up on top is going to be the, the standing rule for anything neighboring. Is what's important here. You got it. Um, and then uh, alternating even and odd. Wow, that's actually kind of cool too. So uh, first card may be even or odd. Alternate thereafter. Again, no specific order here. Just that it has to go even, then odd. It could go up and down. You don't need to be in order. Uh, either neighbor's rank or beast. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one has to either be the rank or the beast of either of the neighbor's. Yep, and and once again, whatever's on the top <laughs> stack. So for the alternating, they're not. Um, yeah, this is going to be horrible. The this combo right here is absolutely. Yep. So not this neighbor's beast. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so, so I guess yeah, it's theoretically not any of the. Oh, and it's and it's only the card that's on the top of the stack so if as these change it, this may change so correct very true oh you're right because it's, it's whatever is active the active beast yep mm -hmm. uh but again not you super be able to bad place that over here because whatever is active here can't be placed here yeah so it's it, it gets sometimes well, no, actually, it gets here's, really here's interesting my <laughs> here's my question about this and, and again i i'm sorry to pick your brain on this you're not sure you don't have to give me a rule on okay. it. but if you have um uh insect for example right here mm -hmm. and the rule here is that you cannot have a card the card on top that is any other kingdom's beast but this rule would be would be enacted when you play a card here so could i play a, a bee like uh, or an insect here um even though this one has the rule that that can't be in it won't negate this rule right like um, i guess what's best way to put this you're this right one, the the yeah. rules only apply when you're playing the card so as soon as right. it's played it, the rule doesn't so as soon as you play an insect over here it's not like oh this goes away it's it's it just doesn't negate okay that, yeah. okay yeah so you, you can bounce it but you have to be careful of what you're doing i got it okay uh so i'm not sure how we, who goes first here okay so whoever is in the lead goes first Okay, interesting. Uh, uh, which is you. All right, so taking a look, taking a look, taking a look. Uh, I guess I will go with. Wow, this is this is actually pretty interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and and drop in uh, seven here. Okay. And. Be... Whoop. Right now, you've already got two influence in that kingdom. Correct. But it is worth eight points. So I will play my frog there. Froggy. Hi, Froggy. And I do definitely oh, want to draw one. At least get one into that kingdom. Yeah. Uh, frog is the current. Um, yeah, so at this point you can you can play anything but frogs in right. to the uh, no other Correct. kingdoms beast one. Correct. Uh, that's that's the nine. This is where the this is where the points really start to square away, like you said before. Yep. Um, so I'm gonna actually put in. Uh, I'm gonna drop a one over here. Okay. And another B. Another another B. Bzz. Bzz. Anybody in chat, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Uh, also, make sure you are entering exclamation point raffle during our live shows. 
if you are subscribed to our channel, you get extra entries. And this game is available on Tabletop Simulator. Go subscribe now. Any games you play with our community, post your scores into our Discord. That's going to give you extra entries to win a copy of this game. Uh, we'll call it a pledge level. Um, you're going to get a yep. pledge level, and then during fulfillment, uh, they'll just ship you a copy of the game. So please enter now. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. All right. So what even even on? ranks. So I'll play an even two. There. An even. An even two. Not an odd sneaky. two, but an even sneaky, two. Sneaky deaky. Uh, Got a whole bunch of lizards. Yeah. Yeah. There is some crazy stuff going on now. So no other kingdom's beast could be placed here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dump one of these guys here. Okay. And go ahead. All right, so, and oh, let me just m make sure we point out, no, this double arrow on the No Other Kingdoms Beast um, means it's not just the neighbors, the but board. everything else, yep. Yeah, I just saw that. Uh, when you mentioned that, I was like, oh, yeah. yeah uh, that's, alternating. That's... <laughs> it's going to make this, this well, area it's pretty, kind of interesting. pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, I'll start with a three and this okay. alternating even odd. You are alternating One. even odd, sir. Even odd. Oh, this is this is definitely gonna get super crazy now. Um Yeah, this is gonna get this is gonna get really weird. <laughs> yeah. So right now you can play anything but bees, red pandas, or lizards. Yeah. In this no other kingdoms beasts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down this guy here. And okay. please. Sounds good. I probably should start playing there, but uh, <laughs> I do have an owl. Oh, there's a little owl. I can play there. Hi, Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl. They call me Mr. Owl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, any tigres out there? You got any tigers mm. out there? No, oh. no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop my tiger down for there. Ooh. All right. Um, either neighbors rank or beasts. So I'll throw my lizard down here because it, it is a lizard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to. Oh, let's see. White is not down yet anywhere, right? Nope. Hi. That there you go. On top. I'm going to place there. Draw. I'm going. Okay. I know I'm going going heavy this game, but uh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, the restrictive aspect of it is is what it comes down to. Let's see one two three four versus one two three four yeah one more there and you've got it unlock I couldn't even win it if I wanted to right uh so I'm gonna go ahead and uh now I'm sort of forced for my last card to be this one here okay Ooh, uh, eight. All right, I'm going to oh. avoid that area because it doesn't really <laughs> help me. I've got the one in there to be second place, and that's all right, that I need. Right. Uh, so let's see if I can alternate even odd. Play this even O copy at six there. Keep going on that one. All right, so even odd over there, so it's going to be odd. I'm going to drop uh, the three there. Okay. Card. Let's see here. Two, two, three. Um, I do have a two. Oh, you do, do you? Yep. Uh, so that puts you one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've got uh, that one on lock. It is beast or. 
rank either neighbors rank or beast and that's not great for me right now uh let's go ahead even boop, boop, boop. b even b b right, do oh. some tactics here are you now playing even b as well are you now yes i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to throw the spike down now i'm gonna drop a, another even b over here yeah so unfortunately, yeah. I don't have any more even cards. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But even if I wanted to play there, they wouldn't. <laughs> even. Uh, <laughs> let's see. This is not used. So I'm going to concentrate on this area. Yeah. Either neighbor's beast or rank. And I do yeah. have a... Um, oop. I do have a uh, wolfie. Wolfie. Hi, Wolfie. That I can play there. Uh, all right. And I have to draw one. And I am going to drop. Uh, I'm dropping an even right there. Okay. And king, in, king in here. Okay. Um. So. Um. Now, so that would mean that you're out. You take that yes. green thing. Yep. Um. You've essentially given up on this kingdom. I could keep playing cards on this kingdom, but there's really yep. no point to do that so unless i wanted to take that king spot um what i'm going to do is i think lock in my i'll draw a card um lock in my influence over here do i have it mm -hmm. play a two right here to get this one and then the cards i hopefully get a let's see i got an odd i'll play my um five Mm -hmm. here to take the king spot of that one. Smart. Yep. Then ends the round. Um, yep. For us. All right. So let's go ahead and tally it all up. So, uh, yeah. So this one is, uh, I have this one. So I take seven. Seven points. So I'll move you seven. Let's see one. There you go. Uh, 27. This one, which gives me 8. 8 points. 2. Okay. Uh, I have this one, which gives me 9. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> and I get 5. Wonderful. Yeah, you get 5 here and you get 7 over here. 7 here. Okay. And then you get... And then I get another i get two for that one is that second place two yes or second place? yep second our uh, second place is three yep three. so you get another three one two mm -hmm. three and i've got a second place over here so i'll take yep. one two three and i think and you got another, a second place over here there one over there two three and, and did you get did you get the second place for more okay two three so not too far behind but I don't know what these things are over here. So these greens, yeah, you don't know that hidden information. That, so that will, could be more points. Let, and let me say, at this point of the, of the game, I could tell you that uh, there's a lot of things mechanics here, um, and and I can see the, the development process. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I think I think I know the rules are still in like beta form, but I, I think with a brush up on the rules, uh, it, it it makes it a lot clearer. Um, but just playing it for a few minutes or watching the video on it, I think you'd be able to get the idea of how to play this. Um, the 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 push and pull of of the card interactions is amplified by these green states that you get from from taking the king spot, and also the bonus that ends up persisting into the following ages for king spot. That's a that's a really like at first I was like okay well an age bonus is is a nice buff, but if you if you give me some hidden information cards here to make the other players sweat, um, on top of that, it's like, why not? We gotta. <laughs> I need that. Oh yeah. For for one of the, one of these, um, and and because the penalty again, if you wait too long, you get hurt, uh, because somebody else takes the king spot from underneath you. Um, but the other thing too is, you could still take a king spot even though somebody took a king spot, 
so biding your time sometimes I think is a smart play as well. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. So. Um, it- Oh, and so basically, uh, so, so the well, real quick is, uh, before yeah, we get to that, uh, uh, okay, just, yeah. uh, just real quick, um, is what? So what we've got here is a two-player tactics battle. It's very much yeah. tactical because I'm going based on what you're doing. I'm I'm kind of changing up my mood. Um, of course. So at, when you get to the four, the three, four, five player game, it it's it much crazy. more strategic. Yeah, yeah. So you're starting to think about. Okay, so if if I went here, they're obviously going to go here. That they're going to obviously go there, and so I don't have to go here this turn. I can go there next turn, and and it gets a lot more into it. It does, and and I can definitely feel like I definitely you know see it's a, it's a trading thing, and I'm I'm always I'm still I still am, am trying to figure out steps ahead of you, and I know you're doing the same. You know what I mean? There's so the, even on a, a two player count like this, I could definitely see this being an enjoyable game that i could throw out with my wife and play this game and then when my son gets a little bit older i could see this being a fun family game too um i think especially you know my wife and i always look for, look for like some fun dual games i think this is this would definitely hit that niche pretty well um but uh we do have a question from chat as well and that question was who developed the solo um variant of this game yeah so um uh carla who did the solo mode for stellar leap in the solo mode for Fire in the Library and Dreams of Tomorrow, um, actually did the solo mode for this game. Um, so she's got some pedigree doing some solo modes. Uh, she developed in it, uh, a couple of AIs for this game. Um, yeah. There's uh, things that uh, essentially mimic the way that the players play. So we've kind of played a whole bunch of games and saw that there was different strategies like in in one strategy in the two player game i could really just follow uh whatever wherever you go yeah. um and so that's one of the solo modes is is the the solo player essentially follows you and then it they mirrors. get some extra in, influence it essentially mirrors you yeah yeah so and what she does is she tries to replicate the um experience of a multiplayer game with this um solo game so and yeah. and what she really believes in with her solo modes is that if you buy the game because you want to play it solo, that you still get the whole experience of the game. Um, yeah. It's not just an add-on to um, a different game. It it is, or, or it doesn't make it into a different game. Or you're not having to make any decisions for this um, solo AI. Uh, you get to experience Animal Kingdoms by yourself the solitaire right. mode and and i will say that I, she has gained some notoriety in in the realm of solo design there's a lot of praise for what she's done in the past in the games that she at, that she's created the solo modes for so. yeah she really believes in solo play and she said it's the easiest uh game to develop because you don't need any play testers you are <laughs> your own play tester yeah. uh, so, so she's constantly like refining and, and coming up with new ideas for solo uh AIs and and bots like that and and yeah I, I I've seen and and played um, what's really cool about her solo mode is is usually you can add in the AIs um, to increase the player count so say you didn't you want can. to play a tactical game you can put the AI in uh, for yep. and make it a more uh, three player game uh, yeah. which is really fun and then sometimes it's fun to play co op against the AI. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so I mean, that was two rounds that we just went through. Um, I'm not stopping it because I'm winning. Don't think. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it gives a, we have a pretty fair and uh, accurate representation of how the game plays uh, through the rounds. Um, the hidden information stuff, you know, just so you're not sweating over there, uh, was a five <laughs> and a two, which I think was a pretty good uh, grouping of, a, of points. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the a possible what the possible uh, point systems are from the the hidden hidden tiles. How what you can get from those? Um, I think they're between two and here. Let's pull out some other ones. I can't yeah, remember what we decided on four. There's a three. There's a three. Um, so they're not significantly a lot. Right. Um, and so what's that, neat that is five was yeah. Yeah, uh, and and the point values ramp up. So in that there. I, so I really wasn't out of the game being I was no. only about 10 points behind you. 
because there right. is that 10 down there i could go there. for broke and the eight and the nine um yes. there's definitely a chance that i could have come back there yep yeah um so with with all that said though um please everybody who's watching this evening anybody who catches the the, the vod on twitch or youtube um or if it's going to be on the kickstarter page uh please uh, join the Geek Spiel community and play some games of this and record your scores in a channel on our Discord called Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. Um, there's a format to post that, but you'll see that when you join our Discord. And uh, any games you play will go toward raffle entries to win a copy of this game. Uh, which again, thank you, uh, Nick. Thank you, Carla. Thank you uh, for everybody involved with Galactic Raptor for, for doing this giveaway for our community. Really appreciate it. Oh yeah, no problem. We're super excited to get yeah, uh, some games um, to somebody who plays and go play as much as you can to get yes. those raffle entries. Yeah. Um, I wish I could win. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm probably like disqualified, working. though. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could win. Um, but yeah, so um, with that, uh, I believe we're going to actually call it for the evening. Uh, thank you, Nick, so much for, for being a part of, of Geek Spiel again. Um, any questions you guys have, feel free to follow up on Discord uh, and speak to, you can, I'll tell you what, one thing I do have to give you kudos for to uh, Nick and, Car and, and Carla, she's not here, but you guys are super receptive to the community as well. Um, and from any walk of, of, of life involved in our hobby space, Carla, she, she nearly kills herself in answering all the emails and stuff she gets, but she is is open to communicate with so many people and that's such a cool thing um that doesn't mean spammer please, please don't she's busy <laughs> yeah um, don't uh, yeah make sure you address <laughs> any emails to carla not yeah. dear sir or madame she hates that or <laughs> hey weird giraffe teams uh it's not a team it's really just carla and i kind of help her <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah yeah if you um, want to hear back that's the best way to yeah uh, send us an email uh, we're on twitter and yep all over the place we i love hearing from people i i love hearing what you think of the game and especially if you have feedback you think something could be better um that's what kickstarter is all about is is this is what we think would be a really cool game what do you guys think uh, we want you yep. to be part of this process is there some decrees that you can think of to make it even more challenging or uh, is there any other changes that you could think of we want to hear from you guys yeah yeah, and and that's super 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 receptive to all that. And uh, I'm sorry, Matt. What did you say there? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'll let you take that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Dan is definitely no slouch. Uh, Dan Lithring, um, that guy is. So yeah, we were talking about us and Carla, but really, Galactic Raptor is um, both. Dan and Carla, they both, Absolutely. I don't think any of them actually sleep because Dan has a full-time <laughs> job and has two kids and does all of his stuff that he's doing for Galactic Raptor. And he still has other uh, projects coming out with Letterman games. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you saw his tactics game. That's uh, just got, I think they just released some information about it. It, it looks like it's going to be amazing. He said, I think Final Fantasy tactics, but uh, of like a, adventure kind of thing uh, oh. which sounds amazing um <laughs> and it, it, it so I, I i absolutely don't know how these people survive um uh, and, and do <laughs> all the stuff they're doing <laughs> i don't think any of them sleep uh so so la last final capture point here uh websites to visit to support everybody involved in this project do you have that in off the top of your head yeah, okay. so um, if you want to check out the Kickstarter, um, we're on Kickstarter until January 30th, so you've got a little bit of time, but please come join us and leave some comments about what you think about the game after you played yeah. it on Tabletop Sim and entered the uh, raffle to win the uh, game. Uh, come talk to us. You could find the Kickstarter at galacticraptor.com. Um, galacticraptorgames.com will give you some more information about our project. Uh, about Dan and Carla and and how we've come together to do this um, whole project. We've got some other games on the horizon um, with Galactic Raptor. Um, we're going to be um, 
I don't know if that's released yet. This is where Carla says, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. no, no, pure, pure Nick myself. Right We're getting pure Nick tonight, everybody. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so you can find us on Twitter. We're at Galactic Raptor Games or Galactic Raptor 2. It, it, so Galactic Raptor. That's Twitter. It's, it's at Galactic Raptor 2 is the Twitter. Yeah, handle. so Galactic Raptor was taken and then we messed up when we took Galactic Raptor 1 and then <laughs> we had to cancel that account and do Galactic Raptor 2. Uh, so at Galactic Raptor 2 yeah. on Twitter. Um, I'm at Stellar Nick on Twitter. Um, you can find more about me at WeirdGiraffeGames.com. Um, that's mm. what I do um, in addition to the Galactic Raptor stuff. Um, and I'm trying to build my Twitter up. I'm looking for people to follow, to interact with. So right now, uh, reach out to me. Like, like Nick, it's like a Sarah McLaughlin commercial. It's like, where? yes, <laughs> it's like, we can please build follow up. me on, on Twitter. <laughs> I, I will follow you. I will follow you on Twitter. So, <laughs> so yeah, you can find us. There's a cat back mm-hmm. there. I'm um, trying to, um, you could check out all of our games there. We really want to hear from you, um, especially on the Kickstarter comments about the Kickstarter and what you think we could be doing better because awesome. we do it for the people who buy these games and who play the games because the, the most exciting thing for me is to see the games that we've made on tables making people happy. So I can't wait yeah. until you get a chance to play Animal Kingdoms because I love playing well, I'm sure the I'm sure the community is all in. Um, you know, uh, one more kudos call out to you, everybody who watched this evening and everybody who's part of Geekspiel and our growing community with Geekspiel. Um, thank you guys for your participation. Thanks for watching tonight. Um, thank you for playing all the games off air last week. We had an amazing turnout with that, and and thank you for everything that that you guys have been doing to to help enrich the community. Um, so Nick, your cat is looks like it's ready to pounce. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but with that thank you and good night thank you okay good night